Christmas time is here. Everywhere from near and far have decorated their homes and their towns in preparation for the holidays. Even the towns that have less still have the Christmas spirit and wish to celebrate. But one day, a message comes through from a stranger that appears to be trustworthy. In broken English, the message reads, Merry Christmas. You have a package worth $10 million, but you must pay $50,000 fees for custom to release. If you do not have the money, collects it from you neighbors, then they can share in the monies you receive. The representative of the townspeople answers, but we don't have any money. My neighbors and myself have all our money tied up in home mortgages and car loans, as well as life insurance and college funds for our children. We are slowly paying them off, but we don't have any extra money to invest right now. The mysterious Santa writes back, then puts second mortgages on your houses and sell you cars, cash out your life insurances. When you receive the $10 million, you can pay everything off again and then use be rich. The townspeople get together and pray about the matter. As they are religious people and like to have trust in their fellow men, and feel this could be a good fortune for them all. They pray about it, and they decide to go for it. The representative for the townspeople writes back, Okay, we prayed about it and decided to send you the money. We have mortgaged our homes and cashed out life insurance policies, as well as college funds. We are putting our trust in you. Mystery Santa then answers back, Donut worries. I'm honest persons. Sends me the monies in Bitcoin, pleases. The town representative gets a sudden thought and says, Wait, can we do a live chat first? Mystery Santa answers, Sorry, my webcam is not working, huh? But trusts me. So with the promise that the $10 million would be received before Christmas, the townspeople sent the money to the mysterious Santa Claus. One week before Christmas, the townspeople started getting late notices from their mortgage companies. But when they tried to reach Santa Claus, they were blocked and unable to contact him. The townspeople contacted law enforcement as well as their banks and were told that since Bitcoin is not traceable, there is no way to recover the funds. They were scammed. In this story, the mysterious scammer Santa's heart did not grow three sizes that day, but his finances sure did. This is a fictional story, but very similar to what actually happens when you trust someone online who you have never met. People have lost everything, including their homes, their security, and their peace of mind. Please don't let this happen to you. Have a safe and blessed holiday filled with love. Be careful, folks, please. Merry Christmas. Happy Kwanzaa, Happy Hanukkah, and God bless all.